Mrs. Foy, where are you and what's happening today? Oh, I come to meet the um, Minister of Australia, Kevin Rudd. And what do you think about all this outside the, his welcoming committee? Oh, well, I think it's wonderful that people can get up and protest on how they feel about the North. And it's great. And what are you thinking about the uh, oil spill that's currently happening up in the Timor Sea? I think it's dreadful. I think it's a shameful thing that people could do that to the fishes and the turtles and all the sea life. What do you think of the federal government's response to that spill? I haven't heard the response. What they were saying that they they were going to um, put a cap on it two weeks after the spill, and it's been months now, and they still haven't put a cap on it. This is our country. Yeah. Hello, my oh, look, Kerry, and because I know that you, you know, you're quite well known for your singing, and uh, you've been quite a, uh, a loud advocate across the world for Indigenous women's rights. Do you think a world perspective has actually helped you understand this um, development or understand what's coming better than most people that haven't actually travelled or seen other parts of the world? That's right. That's right. And a lot of these companies, they go into places and they don't clean up their mess. And they leave polluted and toxic places where other indigenous people have to live in and they grow bad diseases and cancers and they're living in poverty and the violence increases, the uh, welfare dependency increases, the abuse increases, the homelessness increases, and the, and the price of living increases to a capacity that we cannot afford to live. And that's the reality. And who gets it? Who gets everything at the end of the day? Not the 90% of us mob, white, black, you know, grassroots people. It's the 10% of those major companies. Thank you very much, Kerry. Oh, <laughs> the one thing, Mama, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of exposure that a lot of things don't get. And that's what we need. Country powerful, more powerful than parliament now. That's what we need, Mama. That's what we need. More exposure. We need more exposure. Because and I do not want the gas in the Kimberley. And why don't you want the gas in the Kimberley? I think the Kimberley should be kept pristine as the last place in the whole of the world that's pristine. It should be preserved as is. Because once they put a gas hub in it or anything else, it will be destroyed. You can't go backwards. There's and, no way. And when you look around the crowd of people that we have here at this protest, mm -hmm. do you think there's a really good cross-section of society here today? Or? I certainly do. Absolutely. In all walks of life. It's children as well as Aboriginal people and people in all businesses. Absolutely. Mr Rudd, come and talk with us. Prime Minister, come and talk to us. Kevin, talk to us. We've been waiting here all Come back, Mr Rudd. Anytime. You're welcome. Anytime into the country, please come back. Sit under a tree with us. Come fishing, put your foot on the dirt. Spend some time in country. Spirit and good healing to you, Mr. Rudd.